Hey everyone, it's Melody. I am here to show you guys the Christmas cards that I'm making this year. I'm doing a process video. Sorry about the lighting. It is gloomy and rainy outside, so it's a little dull right now, but I thought I would do this video now. Anyways, um, I've already got a lot of the stuff cut and prepared already, so let me just kind of show you guys some of the things that I've done. I like to make mass cards, so I like to do the same thing over and over again. Uh, it's just easier for me when I'm having to make tons of cards. So I think this year I'm making 25 um, Christmas cards. And so what I did was I already cut out a bunch of these little banner shapes with the stamped image, which is the penguin with the little heart. And that is from Lawn Fawn. And then I've already put some washi tape on them. Um, colored in the penguin obviously so these are all pre-made and pre-done so it's just super easy for me to assemble when necessary I've also cut out a bunch of these little corrugated um, card um, sheets this was from a huge 12 by 12 pack so I just cut a bunch up so those are all ready for me as well I had a really hard time with this year's Christmas cards I had all this stuff ready and then I was like, I, this is not coming together really nicely. So I'll show you guys some of the, um, some of the ones that I made uh, first and then kind of played around with. So anyways, we're gonna start with a regular card base. This is from Recollections. Um, it is just a craft card base. I like to do this with uh, cards that I'm making a mass amount of because they already come with the envelopes. So I don't have to worry about making envelopes. I can just decorate the envelopes if I want to and such. So I'm just going to um, fold that and actually put that off to the side. We're going to take the corrugated card piece um, that I've already cut down into the right size. And I'm going to adhere this piece of uh, Christmassy sort of paper right on top. So, so I've already cut everything out, <laughs> which is really, really easy um, to do this video and just to kind of do mass cards. I know a lot of people like to do different cards. Uh, if I was creative enough and had enough time, I, I would go with that because I do like to do that too. But typically with when I'm doing mass cards for holidays and stuff, I um, go with one design and then just kind of go with that to save on time. So we're just going to adhere this on the front. Cool. So we've got that so far. I'm going to take one of my little um, banner pieces here and just adhere this to the front as well. So I didn't want to make this two dimensional because I do plan on mailing these out uh, just with a regular postage stamp. So I am just going to add a little bit of dimension to this banner. This foam tape is also from Recollections. It comes in a pack where it's um, this large size and then um, a smaller size square where it's about one fourth of each of these size squares. So. I really need to finish up my cards though <laughs> and mail them out because Christmas is not too far away. So I need to get a move on. I really need to finish them today and hopefully get them mailed out by tomorrow. Oh, I forgot one thing before I do that. I have been super into using these um, Recollections Snowflake die cut doilies. So, and it just kind of varies on what color I decide to use. Um, I've also actually been using these that I, um, these tags that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And they are just tags, but you can see that they're round, they have a snowflake on them, and they're holographic and glittery and such. So I just cut off the little string part. And sometimes I'll add that onto here. Um, let me just kind of compare what I like a little better for this card with these colors anyway, so mm, I kind of like that. I think I'll go with the snowflake on this one. And we're just going to take some Tombow Mono. 
then I just kind of try to put it on the outside edges a little bit. I'm never the best at this because I'm not patient enough. Like, I'll watch other people do um, card making videos and stuff, obviously. Ooh! And uh, just too much got on there. And, and they're so dainty about it. They'll be like one dot here, one dot there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so just kind of in general. And then I just try to put a little bit in the center too. Kind of just to adhere everything down. So that's going to go in that corner somewhere. Perfecto. Oops. And now let's adhere this bad boy down. I've been doing it at kind of an angle. I, uh, and I've liked it a lot better than some of the other things that I've done. So I'm just going to angle it a little bit. There we go. Cool. I like the way that looks. We are also going to be using um, these little gemstones that I got from Hobby Lobby that I hoard whenever these are 50% off um, because I like to use them a lot on cards. Um, I have a piece that, where'd my piece go? <laughs> I have a piece that I've been using. Where'd my little sheet go? Ah, so you can see I have a bunch of them. Uh-oh. My, if you guys saw the rest of my desk right now, you'd be like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> but I guess all of you kind of understand a scrapper's desk. Oh, here it is. Cool. Like, this is like literally the only clean space on my desk right now. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to add these little gemstones to the top here. Now, they, um, they come in a strip like that, as you can see. So what I do is I just kind of measure and I cut accordingly. So about there gonna use some scissors and cut right about there cool. so it's an easy way to um, measure really just the amount that you want so I'm gonna adhere it just right to the top for some extra blinginess I guess I thought it added something nice to the card uh, and then not much else. I think we're going to adhere this to the card base before I do anything else. Oop, sorry you guys. <laughs> so that it adheres to the card base um, and I don't have to worry about it falling apart when it gets to some wherever its intended destination is so just gonna adhere that to the front lovely so far looking good now if I had had white um, uh, pre-scored cards and stuff card bases I would have probably used white but I just had a lot of craft left over and I actually have some black left over so that's what I'm just gonna use this year <laughs> Um, use what you've got. That's kind of my theme for this year. Anyways, I am going to be using some sequins now. Where's my sequins? This sequins was actually gifted to me by um, Charming Little Secret, Miss Teresa. It is from Pretty Pink Posh, I believe, and it's a Christmas mix. And you can see that I've used a bunch of it already. So I really like this sequins, and I just use a little bit on each card. So... I like to use my glossy accents for this. Let's see if, yeah, I just like to do one little dollop here, a tiny little dollop there, and one down here. I find that using the Tombow sometimes I over, I over dot them, um, and then it gets really sticky. So I prefer using the glossy accents to adhere these sometimes. Uh, over the Tombow. Cool. So I'm just going to adhere these. I don't have fancy, um, fancy tools to do this. <laughs> I 
I know people have like those little tweezer tongue looking things. I don't. I have hands. I have fingers. So there we go. Looking good. Oops. There goes the sequins. All right, so we've got this going on so far for us. Um, last thing I do, put a little bit of glossy accent on this. I like it on the little penguin scarf, so. And I need to buy more glossy accent in the clear. I think having a red one would have been really nice for this little red part, but I don't have them in all the colors. I just have clear and silver. So clear is always good because it can go on top of anything. But there we go. Good, good. So you can kind of see the glitteriness a little bit. There's a little shimmer on there. Yeah. Cool. So um, that is the card for today. That is what my Christmas cards look like this year that I'll be sending out. Um, and let me show you guys some of the ones that I made originally, where I kind of went from like version one to version this. So we've got this is what we made just now. Um, this was one of the first ones that I made. I, so you can see I kind of rounded the corners. Um, I added the background paper as just the main piece and I added the corrugated around the tagged piece for the little banner that I made. Now that was okay and I added a large doily and a small doily. It doesn't look terrible but I really kind of wanted this to be more, to beef up the card a little bit to make it more sturdy. Um, so I, I went with this design then next where I just did the corrugated and I um, outlined the, um, the banner with a piece of paper. And I kind of liked that a little bit too. I liked that a little bit better, but um, I, I wanted some more Christmassy colors to it. Uh, so that's how I kind of ended up with this overall design here, which is what I ended up doing. Now it's really simple and really plain, but uh, I actually like it the best of these three. Uh, maybe you guys will think differently though. Maybe one of these actually you prefer over the one that I decided to make. <laughs> So uh, just kind of how my thought process went for this card, um, but I do uh, I do really like the stamp set that I use this year for my um, holiday cards. I do think they're really cute, and I do like that I um, pop this one version up uh, in the end. So oh, and then let me show you guys one where I used that um, that tag instead of the doilies. So this one, for example, I went with my theme where I did the corrugated as a base. I had the colored um, the colored piece um, on top of that. And then I just added that uh, tag, which is so pretty. And then I went with the banner again. So looks cool overall. So that is the card. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my ramblings. Um, hope you guys had fun making your own holiday cards. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.